Exactly. Uh, Meghan Markle, uh, Daisy, the wife of uh, Prince Harry, she's been found out again, not quite telling the truth, to put it mildly. She's often claimed that she <laughs> never knew much about the royal family at all before meeting Harry. I didn't know a lot about him. Everything that I've learned about him, I learned through him, as opposed to having yeah. grown up around different news stories or tabloids or whatever else. Anything I learned about him and his family was what he would share with me. But Daisy, an old blog post by Meghan Markle has now been uncovered, which paints a very different picture. Tell us about it. <laughs> Oh, yes, dear Megan, caught short again, I'm afraid. You know, as she's mentioned, she's been saying for ages she didn't know much about the royal. She never researched Harry. That That's complete rubbish. There's a photo of her outside Buckingham Palace when she was 15. Her childhood friend said she was obsessed with the royals. Her former best friend said she had one of Princess Diana's books uh, on her shelves. You read uh, Tom Bower's book about how she meticulously researched Harry. She knew about the royals. And in more evidence, a blog post has uh, researched surfaced from 2014 that discusses the wedding of Prince William and Catherine Middleton and she claims in the post that little girls dream of being princesses and that she for one was all about <laughs> Princess Shira who's like a rebel princess like a feminist princess go figure and then we see she's actually got quite strong opinions Andrew about the monarchy where she says grown women seem to retain this childhood fantasy just look at the pomp and circumstance surrounding the royal wedding and endless conversation about princess Kate, that little sort of negative comment, I think, is quite <laughs> revealing, Andrew, that she was going into the family Very not knowing much. nothing. Mm -hmm. That is for sure. <laughs> well, she came in with a, a predisposition to not like Kate. But what a hypocrite. Well, her own wedding wasn't, yep. uh, you know, just a, a, a sort of frock that she threw on and uh, down to the municipal <laughs> office either. But, James, you know, it's it's so strange, isn't it? It seems like in this era of my truth, there's no truth that really matters anymore. You can just say what the hell you think. Well, the only person that still believes Meghan Markle is Harry. Unfortunately, he's fallen for everything, hook, line and sinker. <laughs> but uh, she saw him coming from a long way away. But no one else believes any of this. But he's uh, he's been played like a fiddle. It's played like a fiddle. But, but James, the... Uh, you know, you hesitate to call her a liar. There's something else going on here, isn't there? I mean, I do wonder whether it's postmodernism that you don't feel the awesome responsibility now to tell the truth. What you feel, it's feels, not facts. Absolutely. I mean, our young people are, are being brought up in a world where we think with our feelings, we reason with our emotions, and the only thing that's true is the way I feel. And uh, it's very hard to keep a culture together when uh, the only reality is your feelings. Uh, well, we've seen that exactly with global warming, of course. That's a prime example. The facts mm -hmm. don't matter. We played that thing with Adam Band earlier today.